Hey guys, it's Chris, and thanks to Ewin Racing for sponsoring today's video. They sent me over there one of their high quality office slash gaming chairs, and I will be posting a separate review video for them. But in the meantime, if anyone needs a high quality office or gaming chair, or podcasting for that matter, that's actually comfortable and looks fantastic, you can go to ewinracing.com, enter the code SMOKESCREEN for a 15% off discount for any chair you choose. There will be links in the description below. Again, ewinracing.com and enter the code SMOKESCREEN, all one word, for 15% off the chair of your choice. So thanks again to ewinracing.com. All right, Game of Thrones Season 7 is already wrapping up here. We are going into the final episode. And damn, after that last episode, we have no idea what the hell is going to happen. So let's jump into this preview video for Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 7, and see if we can find out what the hell is going on in the season finale. Alright, in our first shot here we have Grey Worm and he is back and it's been a few episodes since we've seen the Unsullied since they were still at Castle Rock. They did mention in an earlier episode they did have some ships left so it's not like Danny's entire fleet was destroyed. But the question is, did they go to Dragonstone first to meet up with them or were they told to head to King's Landing via land? We'll see. I'm going to guess they're probably headed back to Dragonstone first because we do see in one of the following shots the Dothraki coming up behind them as well. So this is going to be the barricade of King's Landing as we head towards this meeting in the Dragon Pit. And this is where John and of course Danny will pitch to Cersei the idea that there is a more important war that they are facing and that they need to put aside their differences at least for now to fight the only war that matters against the fucking Walking Dead. In our next shot here we see Euron's fleet here outside of King's Landing. So it's going to be interesting to see Euron and what he has to say about all this and I'm going to assume this is for this meeting as well as Danny comes up she of course will come up in her ships as well because they are on Dragonstone which is an island right near King's Landing so all the Unsullied and the Dothraki have to get there some way and as we heard last episode Tyrion and them agreed to go but they will have their army right outside of King's Landing in case somebody touches Danny so they can burn the damn thing to the ground in about five minutes and speaking of Danny's ships in the next shot we do see Tyrion, Varys, and Theon of all people on a ship heading into King's Landing. I'm going to assume this is Blackwater Bay. And it's really interesting here what Theon is doing back. Apparently something has failed in his attempt to rescue Yara, or he at least finds out that Yara is actually dead perhaps, or maybe that she is being held captive by Euron. And I'm going to guess that's what it is. I don't think she's actually dead yet, unless of course she does die within this episode, or perhaps after this meeting is when he goes to try to rescue Yara. But at this point, I would speculate that Yara is being held captive by Euron in the bowels of the Silence, his flagship, just like in the Winds of Winter preview chapter, The Forsaken, which of course was Aaron Dampere, another brother of Euron who is a priest but is against Euron being king of the Iron Islands. Because he's fucking insane. And we see what Tyrion's looking at here. He's looking at Euron's fleet wondering if they're going into a big trap, which of course is a good possibility. This could be a trap to lure them in and try to destroy them. But you have to remember here that Danny still has dragons. And as far as Cersei knows, she still has three dragons. But even so, two dragons can still do enough damage to wipe out this entire fleet in about five fucking minutes. So although they're going to King's Landing into this potential trap, Danny still has an advantage from the air. And in our next couple of shots, as I mentioned a minute ago, we do see the Dothraki coming up behind the Unsullied. So Danny still has the majority of her forces here. I'm sure she did lose quite a few Unsullied here and there, and probably a few at Castle Rock, but not that many in the scheme of things. And of course, she still has 100,000 Dothraki riders. So this is going to be a surrounding of King's Landing, as Tyrion mentioned in the previous episode, to show Cersei that they're not playing, and if she tries any bullshit, that they're going to take the city right then and there. And of course, she will have two dragons as well. A quick shot of Bronn and Jaime here looking on as the Dothraki and the Unsullied surround the city. So the Lannisters are probably getting ready here just in case there is a fight, but I'm sure they're aware because of the agreement of the meeting that Danny would be bringing her armies just in case Cersei did something stupid. More Dothraki coming in, and of course Jaime and Bronn are worried about that because they saw what happened in Field of Fire 2.0, and Jaime did in fact come back and tell Cersei he saw the Dothraki, and killing armored men was just sport to them. And of course Robert Baratheon warned us about this back in Season 1. We see a quick shot of Sansa here at Winterfell in a hooded cloak here. It looks to be Winter has now got a little worse here. And of course she's here all alone and this is going to be the drama here between her and Arya as it continues and perhaps the Littlefinger issue. And the only reason she would be up here by herself in solitude is to do some thinking. And I'm thinking here this is where she decides to take Littlefinger out. And we may learn that the entire thing last episode when Arya is being such an asshole could be a setup against Littlefinger where Sansa is making him believe that he's playing the game and he's winning the game when in fact she is playing him the whole damn time and Arya will end up taking him out. 
I'm going to guess, in this last episode of Season 7. We see a quick shot here of Theon taking a knee here like he's been given some bad news. This looks to be on Dragonstone, but it also could be at King's Landing. But this is obviously a different time frame from the previous shot when he was on the ship going to King's Landing because he does not have armor on here. So maybe he's heard some bad news here about Yara. He thinks he's failed Yara. Or he's heard news perhaps that she is being held by Euron and tortured. And this is going to make him decide to go after her and finally redeem himself in full. We see a shot here of Cersei walking from behind. This is what we saw in the original teaser trailer. So this could be a conversation she's having with somebody after the meeting because she is wearing something different here. This is not the dress she wears during the meeting at the dragon pit. It's likely that she's going to be telling somebody like Kyburn, perhaps Jamie, that she is in fact not going to help, although she probably agrees to it, and she will try to betray Danny and John, and that will be her undoing ultimately in season eight. We see a gorgeous shot here of the Dragon Pit. Now we know this is in King's Landing and the books is kind of described like this, kind of similar to a Colosseum here with the walls falling down and crumbling. This is where the Targaryens used to keep their dragons back when dragons were a normal thing in the world. So this is the location for the meeting here. We see Tyrion, Varys, Theon, Jon, Davos, etc. as well as some Dothraki. And it looks like they're being led by Bronn. So Bronn is going to be kind of the neutral party here to meet them and lead them into the dragon pit for this meeting with Cersei. Kind of the continuation of the same shot here where everybody's filing into the dragon pit. We see a lot of Lannister soldiers here, of course, because King's Landing is technically still Cersei's. And next we have another angle of the same scene here. You see the Lannister soldiers over to the left. You see Tyrion, Pod, Jon, Davos, Brienne. I think you see Masandi back there as well. You also see Jorah and Theon surrounded by some Dothraki blood riders. So this is Team John and Danny who have now formed this alliance since last episode. And at some point we should see that white they captured as well as the hound. And here we see Cersei coming into the pit here for this meeting. She's wearing a completely different dress here. So it's not the same scene as we saw before where she's wearing more like a fur coat. I think that will be probably after this meeting. So this is going to be very, very interesting here to see all these characters end up in the same place at the same damn time. John looking around suspiciously as well as Tyrion because he's worried about it being a trap. And Cersei and Jaime looking on as they hear someone speak, likely John. And of course John says, There is only one war that matters, and it is here. Now of course the question is here, do they tell Cersei what happened to one of the dragons? I don't think they do because of course that makes Danny look a little bit weaker. As a matter of fact, speaking of Danny, you don't see Danny in any of these shots here. She did not enter with the rest of her crew. So I think she's going to make one hell of an entrance on the back of Drogon to show Cersei she's not playing. And just in case Cersei tries any bullshit, she can burn the damn place down. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the season seven finale. Holy shit, what a ride it's been. Overall, I've really, really enjoyed this season. This last episode had a few problems I talked about in the live stream. But overall, this has been a great season for callbacks and reunions and new characters meeting each other for the first time. So I definitely look forward to see what happens in the Season 7 finale. Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. And a huge shout out as usual to my executive Patreon smokescreen producers, Hall Griffin, Volga 10, Lala Gig, Kisa Powell, Mark Joseph, a.k.a. The Snow in Winterfell, Marilyn Bentley, Joanna, Sean Hayes, Anonymous, Doc Holliday, Gaska, Hoonjab, Kieran D20, Nikki Snow, Lo Horton, Aaron Hadbig, Ashley May, Brian Solars, Dean Bewell, Carla Stark, John Kerry, Anastasia, Jason Landers, Rhiannon, Dit Smith, and MJW. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. Be sure to subscribe to get everything, and be sure to click that damn notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.